Oh my god, tell them what is the deal. Why am I like ready to cry? Tell me your whole story. Uh, shoot, I started the class. When did you uh, graduate? From your class? Oh, no, from, school. from school. It was 2020. Okay, 2020. I graduated from 2020. I was working on a temporary license. After the temporary license had expired, I had to take my test. I failed it. Took it again. Failed it again. And then I, my grandmother referred me to you. Okay. My grandmother is a retired nurse. Oh. So she must have heard from about you through the grapevine from other okay. fellow nurses. So she okay. had been a nurse for over 30, 40 years. I so, yeah, yeah. So she had sent me here and she helped me pay for the class. Okay. Um, I couldn't afford you no more. Let's <laughs> tell them what you did when you came. How long did it take? I was here for what? a year. Yeah, a whole year. Um, and in order to re do the thing over I had to pay all over again and I couldn't I couldn't afford you so I, I just stayed home and I seen that you had ended up started putting your YouTube stuff up tell them why because because of me yeah because of me she's the reason yeah she <laughs> have a YouTube what did you tell me more people are more nurses are using YouTube I use yeah. YouTube when I was in nursing COVID school and stuff. yeah it was yeah yep. and I just felt like it was more beneficial and YouTube pay you too like uh, I, i'm getting paid yeah, I, <laughs> that's why i said you can be doing this and making money she on the side she told me that in yeah. class she sat like nakaya because nakaya also is responsible for trying to automate my crazy life. <laughs> and she used to say miss shelly you need to do this on youtube i'm telling you you could be making all not that money would ever drive me because i don't need it but i, I mean i thought okay if i can reach other students that's mm -hmm. a possibility yep. and you went to school where did you go to school i went to hundreds okay and you did rn or lpn lpn okay see this is important because you guys always yell at me because you never get lpn so then what happened when you went and you said i'm gonna do it i'm gonna just do it i'm going home i'm gonna uh -huh. i can't afford to stay any longer i stayed. why did you stay so long and not do this tell them why you felt you um, did not do this sooner than a year well anxiety everybody you know going through this phase it mentally drains you and i'm was raised i'm raising a baby i mean i was you know he only four but but two years ago he was, he was really like, he was really small and remember i kept coming to class like he, he kept getting sick. sick and just minor things was going on i'm a new mom so i'll be coming to class like shelly this happened what do i do shelly this happened what do yeah, i do so i'm in the, the middle Shelly's of baby basically. yeah I'm, I'm only 26 so i'm a baby raising a baby and every time something was happening with him i kept running to shelly she's like girl what's going on texting now? me pictures what does mean <laughs> I was like, he just had so much going on, and most young kids always have stuff going on. So, trying to raise him and then pay my bills. Mm -hmm. I think I had some box braids in for like three months. Yeah, she Cause Shelly kept saying, only reason why my nails was done because my mama do my nails. And Shelly kept saying, you know, you can't spend no money. You just gotta pay your bills and your bills only. Um, so I'm literally, I'm one of them girls. Like I'm real big on get my hair done, doing this, doing that. Like I spent money on cosmetics. So the fact that I was like in grind mode to only go to work to pay my bills and then pay her then take care of my baby i just had so much going on so my test was originally scheduled for july of, i think it was 2022 yes my friend my friend had passed one of my closest best friends had passed away a week before i took my test that's what i want you to hear so i'm instantly like i don't even know what to do like do i take this test do i not i just wasn't mentally there she was no, she was devastated. I was like, like I like called her crying. Devastated. You can have a seat, baby. You can have a seat. He, yeah. he get all frustrated yeah. when you start saying it too long. Yeah. So I had uh I don't know, like I'm just shaking. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like literally I'm just lost. Like I'm like, what she do I do? Lost. Like No, grief is real. That's why I wanted I was her like, to bring it up. A week before I took my test, I'm like, the devil is like busy. Girl, I was like, oh my god! And this was not just any friend. It was, it was my best friend, like my high school best friend. We was like this, so I'm like shaking. Like I just woke up, packed my stuff up, and went to his mama house. Like, but I had no, like I felt like all my stuff in my brain had just erased. Yeah, she couldn't do a test. Like Anytime I couldn't soon. do a test. I was like, everything in my brain had erased. And then what was so crazy? Remember I told you my other best friend from high school died a week after. A week after. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, now I got to start over. Yeah. I had to start over. I was ready to take this test. I'm like, yes, God, I'm about to take She was test. so close. It was crazy. She, we you kept saying it. You kept I'm saying like, it. Oh, my God. And then this happened, and she was lost. I was lost. Like, her voice was lost. I had like, to start over. Like, everything about her was lost. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to do with that because I don't. I have never felt that kind of grief like that. You know, I was so you lost. expect older people to die, and the only close thing I could even accommodate with how you must have felt was when 
my little baby cousin was brutally murdered and I delivered her baby and I used to take her to prom and, and her homecoming and she got pregnant at 17 like I did and I never wanted her to drop out so I would take her back and forth to school to John Marshall. And when she was murdered, I didn't like God anymore. That's the closest I could come to where she was. Obviously, I'm a God's girl, but that's yeah. how bad it was. Yeah. yeah. I was I was really like distraught so I ended up Taking my, I told you I started drinking and everything. She did. I called Shelly. I'm like, Shelly, I don't know what to do. Like, cause me and it was a group of us in high school. It was a group of like ten boys, and I was the only girl. Like, I was like, sis, sis. Mm -hmm. So we all just for a whole week straight was just getting drunk, partying, yeah. trying to like, you know, forget it. Forget yeah. it. And it just, I was like, shit, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I don't know. I was so like traumatized. And then for my other friend to pass away a week after him, it was just too much. So I ended up just dropping. I just took some time away from the books. Gave myself about two weeks to just get my mental together after the funeral. Get my both funerals. Got my mental together, and I just picked myself back up. Like you know what, I got to do this because I'm raising a kid. Yeah. And I was an STNA, but my STNA salary wasn't working for the inflation for everything. It don't my rent all. had went up. Everything was going up, and <laughs> I'm like, was going up. this STNA. Even though I'm not saying STNA, so make a lot of money because I made a good. Amount, yeah, because during that time, they made really good money. Yeah, through, you know, all that through that agency and everything. But I'm like, I'm raising a kid. I can't work off this salary no more. It wasn't working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you had to and that. my family was keeping my baby for me, for me to study. Like, my family was, is very, was very invested. Thank God. Yeah, so I was so invested. I'm getting up, going to the library every day. Like, even now, after. Now, when did you start on this whole journey again? Like, when did that you That happened start? in everything my last friend well the recent friend she passed away in august right before my birthday actually so i want to say i start back up after my birthday so yeah it was a good month september i started over again okay right after my birthday i was like okay i had it in my mind i was meant to like okay i'm gonna enjoy my birthday <laughs> of course <laughs> i mean two friends had passed away but i'm when i had him i had suffered through postpartum depression you did tell us that so i was like listen i gotta get back up and get my shit together because i can't fall back into that phase mm -hmm. again yeah. so i enjoyed my birthday i went on the town yeah came back and i'm like come on let's do it all over you know i'm and just you saw this youtube channel yep and then i saw joe i saw your youtube channel and i was like okay you know i'm and i told you i'm like this is this is god working like mm -hmm. i started watching your videos all over again from scratch from when we was in the uh, class, mm -hmm. the same videos. I'm watching them all over again. Um, I watched- And you got the packets. Had all the packets. I still got my packets, so I'm going back to school this yes! year uh, and, and fall. Yes. So I'm keeping all my packets. Yeah. I'm like, I'm I'm going hard again. You know, um, I watched you, Simply Nursing. Yeah, Simple Nursing is good. Um, just different. I always watch YouTube How long did videos. it take? I, like, I had to take my test in April. This past uh, tw April. 20, yep. Yeah. And no, I took like I took the next the one year. that you passed last year April this yeah year? yeah because this year 2020 23 yeah oh, yes. I, so I took the next gen okay oh yeah okay. I did I started April first yeah. I don't remember I took the next gen and I didn't know if I was ready but I'm like shoot remember you told me like if your if your mm -hmm. ACT about this like you should just take it anyways <laughs> so I would just say that this morning mm -hmm. yeah so I was like well so I've been studying I've been going crazy yeah. ever from <laughs> September to. April. April, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just leave it in God's hand. I felt like I was ready. And you took two old tests before. This is right. the new one. What did you think about the new one? Because um, people say it's easier. I it's feel like, like it's easier if you know your if you do your shit right. Like yeah. how you always tell this in class. You're going to pass this test if you do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So I knew in my mind, I did what I was supposed to do. I literally went back on everything. Right. I felt like in that, because I, I am not even going to face it. I feel like the two tests, I didn't give it everything. Okay. I was in a relationship. Remember how you said, cut off whoever didn't matter. So, <laughs> we so crazy. The enemy. <laughs> listen, so when, the, when, the, when I first started your class and you was like, listen, you don't need a boyfriend if he ain't working. I was like, well, that's so crazy because I cut him off two months before. So, I was like, shoot it. I just knew where I was supposed to be. Right. And that wasn't it. Everything just fell into line after that. So, you know, I just, I've been trying to come to see you all. I, I've been trying to put it in my schedule to come so see you. So how does it feel to be a nurse? It, I mean, it has its pros and cons. I was just talking about this. It moment. has its pros and cons, but what I, because I had suffered through postpartum, postpartum depression, I realized how to um, manage work-life balance. Stress. Yeah. Right, because if my job called me in a short, I'm not going to go if I don't need to go. That's right. And I've... Got to be I, something in it for you. And a lot of people 
that asks me what should they do i always refer them to you because i'm like shelly's not just only like an in-cut re reviewer she a mentor so i feel like you was a mentor to me because the way you came like my mom is a good mom but you was breaking down how to invest into your 401k don't just, <laughs> just um, don't just spend your money on materialistic and stuff even now and then i do go shopping and treat myself after working so hard right. but i've invested into put my money into stocks and investments in yeah. my Roth IRA. Yeah, I know a Roth. Lot. You better yeah, believe so it. I did my research on, I read a lot of financial literacy exactly. books. Exactly. Because it's after, like we didn't grow up learning. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So after being in this class, I feel like it was more than just an NCLEX review. I feel like you really had installed into us to be adults and put mm -hmm. your money where you can become a millionaire. You can, you know how you kept saying okay. nurses are millionaires. So. Mm -hmm. I was just, you know, after being in this class, I was like, I got to come see you again. I got to, you know, show you that I appreciate you because. This looks like that. Yes. No, it, honestly, it makes my year. Really. Congratulations. I love you, baby. Thank you. I'm going to show you guys her bag because this is the cutest thing. Yeah, I just, you know, in my spare time when I'm bored. You I are just... the reason. You're the birth of this. You and that damn Nakaya and yes. Alex. Remember Alex? Alex was another one that was me and, um, with you. Me and Ellie yeah. and Alex, we still link up. We. Um... I saw her at the hospital the other day. Yep, she These uh... are so Pretty. Yeah, so whatever studio. Look how cute. <laughs> Don't fuck around and make my new colors yellow and green. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so we still link up every now and then. We we um Alex just had like a Halloween party. I That's went to fine. visit her. Yeah, there you but go. You're period. the next one. Girl, you better claim it, okay? <laughs> so you yeah. get something too, because I really appreciate it. And I got these little shirts over here, child. And I'm like, okay, she definitely earned that bad boy. What she got a dog. But I don't think her daughter What y'all want to ask her? Biscuit. How much she make it? LP and y'all never get uh, LP it up in here. You said how much I make? Uh yeah, what do you where do you work? Where I you uh work? I got one full time job at a um uh, long term care facility and then okay. I and well, I, well, I well, Why are you talking about? Which one of these you want? <laughs> Which one? I like the black. I'm a black. And girl. you see the back yes. it says nurses with app. To oh yes, I love this. Thank you. Okay, now tell them what you're doing, y'all. Um, so a boy, I heard you're a really good boy. So <laughs> yeah. we may have to do something very He's special very... for you. You stay right there. I got <laughs> some love. You tell them about your little story. Right? Um. I work, I got one PR in job, one long, um, long, uh, full-time job in the long-term care facility. Um, the long-term care facility, I get 35 an hour. Um, but it's a, but it's, um, crazy workload so mm -hmm. lpns get paid better in skilled yeah, nursing facilities and long term because yeah. when i try to apply for the hospitals they but were I talking what i was make talking make sure you get there before you go back for mm -hmm. rn oh for sure yeah because i'm you want to learn the best way to do everything yeah and, yeah. and that's it, the best way it is it is but when i girl when i talk to them 17 18 don't pay nothing yeah, that's still crazy. Right. I know, but see, tell them what you make. <laughs> they don't know. Tell them what you make in long term care. I make thirty five. Yeah, and depend on. Now, what did a new grad RN make? Thirty two ninety five. Do you see? So yeah, when now I have you my see why yeah. they paid that because tell them how many patients you have. It's thirty. It's almost thirty to thirty five to one nurse patient ratio. Yeah. Yeah. Long term is really hard. I can't handle that. Oh so God. it's it's crazy, but um, I feel like if you. I feel like both nurses should experience both environments because I had a, I have a friend that work at the hospital. Well, I tell you guys to get the hospital and work on the side yeah. at the nursing home for yeah. the extra money. So my my friend she she works at the <clears throat> nursing home and the hospital, and mm -hmm. she realized that both environments is something so that she different. should experience, but it's so different. The one environment with the thirty five patient teaches you organization more yes. than anything and else routine in the world. and prioritization because mm -hmm. you can't go to attend thirty five people. Yep. You only have to figure out which ones is the most important. Yep. Yeah, that's what I have to do. And I feel like it's all about um, delegating because actually one of your students is one of my STNAs. Oh, so yes. yep, Ashley, yeah. So she's Ashley. one of my STNAs. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, so Ashley, was she one of them uppity nurses? No, I'm See, not don't it matter, Ashley? I'm not. We, no, we knew that. <laughs> but, but I want her to say it because it don't mean yeah. nothing if you she's say actually, it. She's actually, she's a good STNA. She's going to be a great nurse. Well, but she feels the same way about you or you probably wouldn't even be up there. I mean, for real. <laughs> I tell you, as a nurse, your hardest part of your job mm -hmm. is going to be your STNAs. And yeah. you can either make it or break it with them. Yeah. And the way you make it with them is you treat them with love, kindness, and respect. For sure. And you don't say nothing mean and hateful to them for six months. You say please and thank you. And then after they <laughs> 
still acting crazy and they know your love, after six months, you can go ahead and, and we can just throw down in the parking lot because, you know, you know me. I'm your girl. Why you fucking with my patients like this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, am I lying? This is real She's talk. actually one of the best STNAs on my unit. She sure is. Look at that baby. Yeah. That Honestly, so when I have nice. the wrong STNAs, I'll be like, where Ashley at? <laughs> right. But then well, how do you handle it when you get a wrong STNA? Because it's hard. Girl. Oh, okay. She took her gun out. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta, um, delegation matters, honestly. So when they talk about that on the test, it's more than just on the test. I, you have to be able to use therapeutic communication. Everything therapeutic matters. Therapeutic communication is for your age. It's matter. It really it matters. Is. Even for the family members, because I'll be having some hostile family members being in long term. But you, all this stuff that she's teaching you, all this stuff that they teach you in school really do matter. It's down to the therapeutic communication, down to the delegation. I would say therapeutic communication is probably one of yeah. the most important things for family members and your staffing that you have to work mm -hmm. with. And if you do it right, they will follow you to the end right. of the earth. I told y'all I was in there with one of them husbands that of 17 I had married. And um, <laughs> and the one was had broke his arm, and I don't never leave my family. So I'm standing there with him after he had the surgery. Plus, he couldn't half ass pee afterwards. And I'm texting on Facebook at 2 a.m. These chairs are super uncomfortable. They don't have nothing for no family member to just lay in. And my freaking medical assistant that I used to have 30 years ago, she brought the damn bed chair over from two other buildings to University Towers where okay. I was laying yeah, down with this man. And she rolled that puppy through the elevators, through the halls. She was coming from McDonald House all the way over to the it towers matters. with a damn bed chair for me because she seen it on Facebook. Shelly ain't got high. My Shelly ain't finna sleep in no chair. Yeah, no, that's right. The resources matter. The, re the people you know matter. Yeah, because yeah. even, I feel like since y'all in class with, with each other, I'm not saying be each other friends, but still stay connected. Because even Allie, she's, Allie is a supervisor on the cardio floor at UH. Already and, a boss. And she, she was, was just in here. She was just in here. And she was telling she me. She was just in here. Yep. And she was telling me, like, if you need a job, I can put you in. Like, she's a she, manager. She was saying, yeah. like, even, um. And All I want them. you to get that before you go I am. to I'm school. I am. Because when you go to school, everything you're doing now is considered crazy. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's just, it's a crazy. It's take a minute. <laughs> Girl, to go from, and then not even that, one of my jobs offer crazy bonuses. Like $500 bonuses, $600 bonuses. So imagine making my 35 on top of making five, six hundred dollars. So that's almost good 60, 70 hour because they throw it out yeah. so crazy. Long-term care. Like I said, if y'all working Even the RNs can make a lot of money in long yeah, term care. I think one of my friends, he got his his RN, and he worked in the ICU at Cleveland Clinic, but he worked at, on the side. On the side, yeah. Get that making about 45 money. an hour on top of the mm -hmm. bonus. I'd have position. to stab myself in the neck, but that's okay. I wouldn't <laughs> yeah, you I have to be a strong soul yeah, to work, work in long term. I'm so conscientious that I couldn't do some of the things they insist that you got to do to get through the day. Yeah. Come here, babe. I got something for you. Here's the deal. <laughs> What's your name? Kendra McCoy. Kendra? Kendra McCoy. Kendra McCoy. Let me tell you something. <laughs> your mommy can't be a nurse, and she can't be a good nurse, and she could never have passed her nursing test <laughs> if you weren't a good boy. So we look at kids like you, especially young men, and we say thank you for being a good boy so mommy could pass her test. <laughs> because mommy's pretty happy now. She used to be sad. She's really <laughs> super happy now. And so this is for you. Now you got to promise me that you're going to go with mommy and get what you want from the store. Is that fair? Yeah. Oh All right. God, Are you so it's a little I tell stuff. them so mommy can't be talking about, we too busy. We got to go home. <laughs> now hold your money like that because we're going to get a fun picture. There you go, baby. Them dollars and stuff matter. <laughs> okay, you got to smile for the camera. Hold it up, baby. Like money talk.